Right. I have bought a DS Lite Spares or Repair in good cosmetic condition. However, it does not power on. I have attempted to charge. However, the charge light flashes amber a few times and then goes off. As such, this is being sold as spares, repair, or parts. Thanks for looking. And this was up for twelve ninety nine, and I put an offer in for eleven pounds, and I was accepted. So I got this for eleven pounds. Let's open it up. See if I can work out what the problem is. Okay, so it does look okay, nice shoulder buttons are working. There's no big scratches on the screens. Right, so I've got my charger. See what happens. Yep. Charging light. Comes on. Goes off. Charging port. Can't focus on it. Looks okay. So, as I always say, let's start off with a known working battery. I prefer the J seem to fit these screws better. I don't believe it. Uh, I'm not making this up. This is this is genuine. Look at that. There is no battery. The water sticker looks okay. So it's going to be a short video if this is the problem. Well, it begs the question: Why has someone taken a battery out? Ah, it's a listen switch on. That's more interesting. Let's try... Let's try another battery. Still nothing. Right, I thought that was going to be a short video, but it's not. Okay. Right, let's, um, let's pause this video while I open this up. As I'm sure you've all seen. Plenty of Nintendo DS Lite being opened before. Yeah, that's all the screws out. Nothing stands out. As no immediate signs. Right. So the first thing we'll do, we'll check the fuses. See what the fuses are doing. So there's the top fuse. That's okay. And 
the bottom views. That looks like it's gone. Yeah, that fuse is gone. But why has the fuse gone? Shall we just pop a new fuse on? See what happens? I think so. Let's try that. Let's put the hot air on, remove that one. Let's find a new fuse first. I'm sure I've got one in a box somewhere. Fella taped to a piece of paper saying Nintendo Fuse. There you go. DS Light Fuse. I knew that would come in handy sometime. Hot air on. Let's see if we can take that fuse out without damaging anything on the board. Oh. There's a, trouble is, there's a screen under there. Which I don't really want to heat up too much. And again, I don't want to go to the trouble of taking the board out if I don't have to. So the best way to do this would be able to take the board out. But I'm going to try. I've got some of this gauge master. Low solder. I'm just going to try and put some of that on. I'll put my iron on. Wait for that to heat up. That just came off with the gauge moss, that low melt solder, and that came off very nicely. I'm hoping it goes on, or the new one goes on, just as nicely. Where's my new one? Let's double check that for continuity before we put it on. Yep, I've got continuity on that. So did a power surge blow the fuse coming in or is there a problem with the board which has caused the fuse to blow? The only way to find out for sure is to replace the fuse with a new one and see if it blows. Not the cleanest but we'll put some flux on, see if I can neaten it up. Looks better. And before I put it back together, again, I'm just going to check to make sure that it still works. Yes, it does. Right, so that's the, the low melt solder that I'm being using. And it, it does the trick. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Got a green light. Nintendo. Before. Yes. Screen's working. Let's if I turn that back on. How are we, camera? I'll find the game. Do they work? Game Boy Advance games? I don't know. I've got a Game Boy game. I've got a Game Boy game, Rugrats. And Mario Kart. Everybody uses Mario Kart. So. Let's try Mario Kart. Yes. Here we go. Volume's working. Touch screen's working. 
B buttons working, E buttons working. Just want to see if the. I'm jumping when I press the. The right. The right trigger, left trigger are working. Buttons are working. Turn that off because it's. So, nice. Now, the game boys? No. Couldn't remember which. It, whether it was Game Boy or Game Boy Advance games. So let's check this bottom. Yeah, start Game Boy game, Game Boy Advance game, and the Game Boy Advance. Games are loading up too. Right. So, that was £11. It's quite a quite a good buy so there you go if you're Nintendo if your Nintendo DS light comes on with the charging orange light and goes straight off check the fuses new battery make sure the battery is working uh, if it still doesn't work get it open check those fuses first so thanks for watching, I'll put this back together and I hope to see you in the next one. Orange charge light, so the charging circuit's working. If you've got any questions about Nintendo DS lights, leave them in the comment section. Um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. I've just passed 300 subscribers, so I'm well chuffed and I hope you'll subscribe too. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.